Here we are with Overlord Season 4 Episode 11. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say let's get to the episode. I would say if the kingdom has fallen, then he's gone too. He isn't in the kingdom, right? Go and try to save yourself. Yeah, he's the only one left. I really hope... <clears throat> I really hope we see something of Princess Rena, right? Because we only saw her in episode 3, I think? At the end, and since then, only like in combination with Prince Zanek, right? So, I wonder if we will see something. Maybe Eins goes up to the king, and then Renner is there in his presence. That would, and he's like, What is going on? Why are you with him? Right? That could be interesting. That she maybe reveals that she is with Eins before. Her father dies. I mean, that would be something twisted that, I mean, I could see her doing, right? I wonder if, if we will see something like that. <clears throat> because Rena is an interesting character because she is so twisted, right? So I really want to see more of her. Especially now that it gets really interesting with her because she is helping Ainz. Not necessarily him, but like Albedo, right? So basically, she helps Nazarick. So, did the time skip since war to now night time? Oh, him. Oh, they broke him out. One of us. <laughs> you were never this nice. <laughs> he is in shock. Oh, Mare? Or oh, Eins? Get down. Oh, Shaltia. How oh, nice of them. <laughs> whisper, whisper. <clears throat> the luggage. <laughs> or oh, the old fake castle, the fake Nazarick. Oh, 
Oh oh. <laughs> Show him what's what. He gets eaten inside and out and then get healed. And then get eaten again and then get healed. To break his will and make him listen. Yeah, it's basically that, right? Entrance ceremony. Thank you for showing him mercy, your majesty. <laughs> oh, this is so messed up, I love it. <clears throat> oh, here we go, Cocutus. Aura, Mare. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, Albedo in armor. Indeed it is. Oh, there comes the guy. Which I've heard is not in the armor. He just controls it. Which is kind of interesting. Break his wings. My role. <laughs> oh, let's go, Alberto. Beat him up. Oh, he goes with a big cannon. It looks like a dragon. Something that is already higher than anything that a normal being can do. Another one. <clears throat> but fires this time. Yeah, but that does nothing against him. He's like, huh. Oh shit, it did nothing. <laughs> he thought he had a chance. Let's go, Alberto. Fuck him up. No. <laughs> I mean, he has no idea what he's doing, really. The full potential of it, I guess. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Bong. I hope he says something bad about Irons. Because that would flip Alberto's switch, right? If he shits talks, Irons. Oh, who was that? <clears throat> oh, is this a dragon dude? It was silver armor, right? It is! <clears throat> and he's supposedly the strongest being in the world or one of the strongest hmm <laughs> 
<laughs> I guess that is his role he plays. Did we heard about that before? I can't remember. <clears throat> Join me? <laughs> Ooh. Mm. I mean, he's a dragon. Cloak of light. What's he doing? So instead of like using MP, he's using HP, I guess. Barrier. Hmm? So you trapped him basically inside, I guess? So that Eins can't get away? But I mean, that doesn't care. I guess Eins doesn't care, right? Mm-hmm. So, does he think he can beat Eins? Ooh. <clears throat> I mean, it looks like that Eins is in trouble here, but I think he's not really. He has no heart. His favorite move is not working. Candy cast some super tier magic and use it like instantly with his items to destroy the armor basically. How much are HP does he have left? Oh, did he got a scratch? No, I don't think so. Ooh, who's this? <laughs> oh. Level 90. Okay, here we go. All right. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
He's not serious, I guess. He just plays. Well, little does he know, <laughs> Alberto comes, she broke the barrier. <clears throat> so did she beat the other guy already? Join me. Oh. <clears throat> I'm a bit disappointed. I guess, I mean, I guess Eins just played. I think Eins could have beaten him, right? Okay, he's still alive. Oh, he is in the armor. Okay, the information I got is wrong. Even if he had all the time in the world. Much greater. I mean, I guess Irons could, right? A player and oh, the NPC. <laughs> nah, nah. He has more world items than two. <laughs> I guess Eins didn't go all out. I doubt it. And that would be...
Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Already scheming. Mm -mm. A better on armor. <laughs> I wonder where her wings go, Ryan. They're like gone in the armor. Oh, that was Pandora's actor. <laughs> it wasn't even the real height. That's why I couldn't get out. Because, oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is good, dude. <laughs> okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, like I said, um, someone... In the comments of the last episode, said that the armor that As Asus or whatever his name is, the guy in the red armor, and um, someone said that the armor is controlled, um, which made me think that he just controls it remotely. But no, he is actually inside. Okay, but, I mean that's not a big difference. Like I said, like I said in the episode, I was a bit disappointed, right? That. Um, Eins didn't really beat them, right? But I mean, that will. That, I, I guess that was maybe the plan, right? I mean, he sent Pandora's actor to fight him and not himself. I mean, I guess obviously because to be safe, right? He didn't know how strong he is. And so fighting him by himself one on one could be a risk because, I mean, what if he's stronger, right? Um, but yeah, now that we know that it was Pandora's actor, I guess Eins might be stronger. I, I don't know how the strength uh, hierarchy... Uh, is it hierarchy? 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 Whatever. Um, I don't know how, who is the strongest, right? Um, I don't know how strong Pandora's actor is compared to Eins. I think Eins is stronger. Um, but I mean, there are definitely NPCs that are stronger than Eins, I think. Um, I think... I mean, there is Albedo, Nigrido... And another one, I forgot the name, another sister of Albedo, and that is apparently the strongest in the whole guild. So, there is at least one that is stronger than Eins, <laughs> and like way stronger than Eins in the guild. <clears throat> um, but yeah, like I said, I, I was a bit disappointed that they couldn't beat him, but like I said, it's like it wasn't even Eins, so it was just like to get information, I guess, and to play it safe. And that explains why Eins couldn't get out of the barrier, because it was Pandora's actor and he had no world items, I guess, so... But Albedo could get in, because I guess she maybe has a world item, which could be maybe the axe, I don't know. And... Yeah, he's like speculating. Apparently NPCs can't get, get out of the barrier, but players can get inside the barrier, so he thinks that maybe Albedo is the player and Eins would be the player, uh, would be the NPC. But yeah, that's not how it is. So, yeah, I mean, very... This episode felt very short because there wasn't much going on. We had the beginning scene, right, with um, Hilma and the others. And then basically, the rest of the episode was basically... I mean, we had also at the, at the beginning also the king, right? Um, but besides that, we only had the fight scenes. And yeah, it felt like there wasn't much going on. But I'm still a bit disappointed that they didn't beat them. But okay, it is what it is. Uh, I. So yeah, I guess the main 
objective of this fight was basically to get information, right? See what they can do and all that stuff. Nothing else really. Um, so, yeah. I guess next episode is when the war starts, right? We saw Cocutus and Mare and Aura being in front of the kingdom, I think. So, I hope that will be good. <laughs> And so, yeah, besides that, I would say there wasn't much going on. I mean, the dragon used a fake name. And we know that he is level 90 now. Which is still like a 10 level difference. Um, and yeah, obviously because he's just controlled, he, he has HP but no MP and uses HP to use magic. Um, but I'm surprised a little bit that how strong the dragon is, right? I mean, like I said, I guess it was just to see what they can do, right? It wasn't really to seriously fight them and destroy them. Because I think if they really wanted to beat them, I think they could. Um, but yeah, I was still a bit surprised that he could push around Ions, well, Pandora's actor in this case, and all that stuff. So, yeah. I really think there isn't much else to say in this episode, really. Um, it was just fighting, basically. But yeah, so if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think. And if I missed something, or there's something interesting from the light novels, or something that isn't mentioned here, um, let me know. I would appreciate it. But yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.